So today I'm going to talk briefly about an important technical aspect, namely uh, data modeling in Power BI. So all the analytical and reporting work that we do is based on the underlying semantic model, as it's called, which consequently has a great impact. If we don't follow good uh, practices on designing those models, this will lead on significant technical depth accumulating and rework and uh, extra costs. So, uh, as many people know, and Microsoft also suggests, uh, the preferred approach on uh, modeling uh, this kind of uh, semantic models is the dimensional modeling approach. Uh, simplest forms of uh, those models are sometimes called star schemas uh, because there is a fact table in the middle and the dimensions providing context to the things that have happened uh, surrounding this uh, fact table. Uh, what is very interesting is when you want to consolidate different business processes into a coherent uh, dimensional model in order to combine metrics and KPIs from uh, all these processes into a consolidated report and uh, analytical uh, exercise. In such a case, uh, a very useful guide is uh, one of the Kimball's books. Uh, Data Warehouse Toolkit is a classic on this. And my experience on such undertakings have taught me that as soon as you get the grasp of it, it's very simple to enhance your model with new processes as the requirements come in. And also, it's very easy to evolve uh, it uh, in, in a way that is scalable and consequently uh, minimizes the technical depth that I discussed previously.